reports told of reign of terror against old people in County Londonderry. Good evening, Belfast Crown... Leading UDA man is murdered in Belfast. MI5 man gives evidence to Gibraltar inquest. More arrests follow County Down arms find. Also tonight, radiation levels in the Irish Sea. Good evening, now it is Ulster News. A Tyrone milkman is shot and critically wounded outside Dungannon. A Glengormley policeman has a narrow escape in an IRA booby trap bombing. Mayhew tells the IRA more violence will need mean nothing except more misery. A father hits out as his son's killers are jailed for manslaughter. The High Court hears a DUP councillor was a leading organiser in a protection racket. How in-car television sets could mean 500 jobs for Dungannon. After the storm and fire, unions expressed concern about their members. Sir Patrick Mayhew says this year won't be easy, but it looks promising. An electrical fault blacks out television services province-wide. Good evening. You're watching UTV Live at 6 on Tuesday, January the 3rd. It's our first program of the new year. The headlines on UTV Live at 6. Police arrests follow fighting between two loyalist paramilitary groups. Women and her two children lucky to be alive after house petrol bombed in Uma. Waiting list set to fall with seven million added to health budget. say they are very pleased with George Best's progress after his operation. No prosecutions over the spread of foot and mouth here. And talks are held to ease clashes at Belfast interfaces. And tonight we report from the village of Cloddy in County Derry, where exactly 30 years ago today, nine people were murdered in a series of no warning bomb attacks. We reflect on the thoughts of one family devastated by that atrocity.
Good evening and welcome to Friday's UTV Live. Calls were an end to patients being sent outside Northern Ireland for cardiac operations. A shocking incompetence attributable to bad management and failure to listen to doctors. Peter Robinson claims dirty tricks over the publication of his family's expenses. And up in arms, pensioners take to the streets to demand a better deal. Good evening and welcome to UTV Live. A Hello and welcome. You're watching UTV Live at 6 with Paul Clark and Rose Neal. Good evening. These are the stories making the headlines. Extraordinary footage of the moment two pensioners stole a picture from a Belfast hotel. UTV reveals new evidence that a young man may have been shot in the back as he ran away from the army. Outrage after a man is targeted in a homophobic attack in the city centre. No one should have to go through life being attacked and abused just because of who you fall in love with. It's, it's not right. Also tonight, the amazing young Syrian refugee who's become a hurling hero. And after a wet weekend, some brightness today, but will the week prove to be a winner? And if the full weather detail for you later in the programme. It certainly wasn't the great escape, but police are still on the hunt for two thieves who tried to steal a giant picture of Steve McQueen.